for the benefit of everyone, what's your name? Barbara. Bar Barbara? Ah, my, um, Yaz's mum's name's Barbara. Yeah, I know. Is Barbara a Hungarian? No, actually Barbara is a Greek name and it means, um, uh, well, it's coming from Barbarian. And Barbaria? Yeah, yeah, Barbarian. Is that And place? it means, uh, no, no, it's just like Barbarian, like, um, like the barbars and uh, ah. and basically the meaning of Barbara is uh, foreigner. Foreigner. For, yeah, foreigner woman. I've been. So um, it's, it's a, it's it's a, a foreign woman. woman. But since it's the fourth of July, it's funny because I was named after Barbara Bush. Wow! There you go. What do you know about her? Well, she was an amazing lady. Yeah. But yeah, because my uh, my godfather he's from the states, mm -hmm. so so I grew up celebrating Thanksgiving and everything. And uh, uh. he used to, he used to work for the U.S. embassy here in Budapest. And yep. the year before I was born, um, uh, George Bush Senior and Barbara uh, they were visiting Hungary, and my mom just remembered the name and put it on the list. And Hang here on. I so am. that was what uh, what uh, because I'm. I went on 91. a walking 91. So that was a big deal then. Yeah. Cuz it was the first I think that was the first time that they had Americans. No, Ronald no, Reagan came. I think it was before but um, so during the Second World War, um, the Hungarian crown crown and the crown jewels um, they were transferred to other countries. Uh, so it wouldn't um, be no. oc occupied by the Germans, uh -huh. and uh, once they were transferring the crown, uh, the American troopers they found the Hungarians, and they took the the crown to Fort Knox in Texas, I think. Wow! And it was there for I think a good forty years. And then they returned it for with six the Bush. Years. And it was returned in 85 or 6, so way before um, George Bush. But, uh, but yeah, it was a long time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so you named after Barbara Bush. Yeah. And um, you were saying you're studying film history. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so what's your skinny on it? What's, uh, what's your favourite part of film history that you connected with the most when you were studying it? I think um, just simply like the whole like movie industry and how it's changing all the time. So starting from like like the basis um, photos, so pictures, and the whole movie is like 24 pictures in a second. Uh -huh. and so you've seen those old wheelie, the, the, what are they called? Those old... Um, they, they, they spin them and then you can yeah. see the photos. But, but it's, it's really interesting, like uh, one of the first movies is about a train arriving to a station and it's just like so weird to see like what happened like in 1894, I think that's, that was the first time. It was the Luminary Brothers or something? Yeah, uh, they were one of the, um, the ones who, who started to make the the, um, the recorder mm. and then just like the whole technical thing of like seeing a movie and and just it ke keeps history as well but but it, it yeah preserves do you know what the first feature film was what the first feature film ever to be made Ooh. pop quiz Let's see how well you studied your... Let, uh, where did you study I film history? Was it here in Hungary? Yeah, here and I uh, studied it uh, for a year in England. Okay, so did they mention uh, that it was an Australian film? That was the first feature-length film? I don't know. Yeah, the, I think it was The Adventures of the Kelly Gang. Oh, that's interesting. I know the first Hungarian was... Um, it's called uh, The Dance. Yeah. And actually this year is the 100th uh, anniversary of the, the first movie. It was the first feature film in Hungary that they yeah, made? Yeah, The Dance. 100 years? 100 years old. So we're talking 1921. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you seen it or seen shot, uh, footage of it? No, I, I watch like old Hungarian ones. I like Hungarian movies are amazing, but it's just not, not for me. There are some boring ones, but um, but yeah, it's just interesting. Like my degree, um, as I mentioned, 
motion film history and film theory. And my thesis was about Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, now we're talking. All right. So basically... So what was your... You wrote a thesis on that? Yeah, 20, 27 pages. Okay, what, um, was, what did you have to say about so Mad Max Fury Road for 24 pages? What was your, what so basically, <laughs> my, my my topic is that I proved it with feminist film uh, theories that uh -huh. it's a feminist movie. Fuck yeah, it is. So yeah, um, so I don't go into the first three one. I just uh, focused on the fourth one, mm -hmm. like a little bit history of the movies. I know it's of course Australian, Australian yep. and it's really interesting that um, actually. Um, Furiosa. The the director he used to work for um, like in medicine and he he was uh, like an amb ambulance car driver yeah. and in the 70s uh, when he wrote the script there was a big oil um, <laughs> deficit in, uh -huh. in in Australia yep. and there was um, there were a lot of like um, car accidents on the highway and as an ambulance driver and working as a doctor he so does and he uh, put together the two like what happens if there is no more and uh, there aren't more oil in the in the world and like yep. the the social part of it what yeah. would people do and the first movie is based on that one and he was just like uh, he kept on uh, he kept on yeah, and he explored that yeah and the fourth one is interesting because like the the main character isn't like Tom Hardy's character. No, it's Furiosa. It's, it's Furiosa, yeah. So, like, I really wanted to do a feminist topic, and I kept searching like feminist movies, and it's just like popped up all the time, like Mad Max Fury Road, and then um, yeah, I use um, some of the theories, and um, and yeah, I just proved it. Well, it was interesting because. Um Women in women in the film were kind of betrayed as uh, resources. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's reproduction and reproduction resources. Yeah. What was um, it the 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 because she was the one of the warriors. Yeah. But she was. But she from had, memory she had the uh, a group of uh, women who were. What now? Refresh uh, my memory. They, they kept the, the women like in the movie. Um, yeah, breeding. Yeah. So. Basically, there is a scene in the movie when they es they escape and they are in the uh, desert mm -hmm. and they are washing, and it was one of the the scenes I analyzed in my my thesis that um, basically movies are made for men, mm -hmm. so the whole camera, like the view, is is for men, like it's like film uh, films are very like manly manly job a masculine, per uh, masculine perception yeah. yeah exactly and if you look into films like most of the main characters are men mm -hmm. and the women are either to like help them or mm -hmm. just a supporting mm -hmm. act yeah. or love interest yeah and um, and now with like the whole world is changing like go feminism mm -hmm. go girl power um, it's uh, she won't for no man land. But yeah, it's, Have it's, you seen that? No, I'm unfortunately not. But I really want to see. It. But you know, it's it's a little bit dark. So, what's so. It, do you know what it's about? Uh, it's it's about a lady going into, I think, the Ozark country and uh, like hanging out with um, uh, nomads who are living off off the grid. So, but yeah, it's it's important uh, because. At, at least it, it can show that like women can do a man's job as well. So. If you were to make a movie, would you take a feminist point of view, or would would what your I mean what your thesis is about would that trickle into a creative for side sure, if yeah. you would make a movie? For sure. Have you ever had an idea for a film? I do, but so it's it's it's, it's, it's a few years from now. Ah, you do have uh, yeah. plans to yeah, to yeah. work on something. Yeah, for sure. So you want to. Write it? Um, write it, direct it, I don't know. Yeah, it's have complete creative control yeah. over it? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting to see, like, speaking of James Cameron, mm -hmm. um, one of the deciding moments in my life to move into films uh -huh. uh, was actually Avatar. Ah. Uh, because I, I know the story that he, he was, like, 
writing it for like 10 years or so. Like he started right after um, Titanic. Yeah. And yep. it was in, in like pre-production, production, writing um, mm -hmm. for like 10 years. And it's just so, so amazing to see something from a paper going up to the big screen yeah. and having your name over there. Yeah. And it's still one of the biggest movies ever made. And It uh, still is number one. No, actually no. It's actually Avengers. Nope. The last one. Nope. It came back. Yeah? They re-released it in cinema just to get that top spot again. <laughs> it's true. Well, Endgame, Endgame it's, it's is number pre, two. Pre-marketing for Avatar 2. So well, I don't know. How long have they... Oh, man, they've been in production for how long and... They're they, still they, they, no, no, years they, away. Yeah, no, actually next year, next December. Mm, mm. No, because they shot back to back, uh, the thir uh, second and the third. So okay. that's why. All right. It's in the cutting room right now. Okay. And he did like a documentary about whales or something like that. But yeah, it's just seeing uh, going from the paper to the big screen is is just such an amazing thing. Yeah, so your like. your can you can you give us a hint about what your film's about? Drama. Your story? Hello. See ya, Baba. Long time, I see. Too long. Hola. Would you like to join us for a sec? Um, <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. A minute. By the way, do you want to check this out? You want to... You keep that. We can share the... Uh... Hey. No, it's, um, I'm fine with that. Ah, see, some people, they hate the, the, the headphones, but... Yeah, I, I hate, uh, like, hearing my voice. Yeah, but people get over it, as I used to say. People always uh, get over it after 30 seconds. Martin. So how do you guys know each other? No, wait, 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 no. If, if you want to turn down things, turn, yeah. down your head, turn down your headphones. There you go. Is that better? No, it's the same. How about there, that? I, there we go. Exactly. There you go. All right, so it's that one. So how do you guys know each other? From party bookers. Yeah. Oh, you used to work for party bookers, Bob. No. Well, Did you? Well, that was I used to... I used to work, I that used, was after? Yeah, I used to work for a hostel, so that's how I know him. That's how uh, this the friendship grows. Yes. Yeah, oh. That's how I know Which everyone. hostel? Uh, the Hive. Ah, the one right. The one in Dub? A Lata House. Or the yeah, one above oh, the Lata House. Yeah, that one. R.I.P. Rest in peace. Yeah, I know, man. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Hive is still open, though. Hmm? Hive is still open. Yep. It is. This and uh, Lata House... I was talking to Gonzo last night. Hey, you were there. You were working at... He came past at Nomad. Yeah. yeah. He was saying that, you know, the guy wanted a ridiculous amount of money to keep it running, and yeah, yeah he didn't get it, so it's just a, a, a vacuum at the moment. That's sad. Do you yeah. think they're going to have something new? Probably. It's a good spot. It's a, a great spot. Huge, so it's it's, it's iconic. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like best a times of my life. Really? Yeah. 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 Best three years. Yeah. It's I pretty. Well, we don't want to get and too me. gloomy about it because you know <laughs> there will come things will come back again. The question is, we'll be quite a older and and. Maybe quite no, maybe maybe it is a thing for no, a new generation to like, come through and, yeah, and kickstart. Like, uh, the city is changing and it's so um, like sometimes uh, just sitting over here and looking at this place and knowing that the old instant used to be here and like wait, old instant? Yeah, yeah. that's hilarious. I never ever been to the old instant. Oh yeah. Where was the old instant? Like yeah, this like building, dude. This building. This one here, yeah. Yeah, where it used to um. Be here. What? When was that on? Because I, when I first they, came to Budapest, I went to Instant. They closed it in 2016 in December. Ah, uh -huh. so maybe yeah, I, the the closing party was in between uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve. Of what year? 2016. And then they moved to um, to Simpla. To Simpla. Uh, Simpla. Uh, Akaxfa. Uh, uh, Lump. Forgash. Forgash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember going to Instant when I when I first came to Budapest. Yeah. But I got mixed up because when I went to the one here, I was like, I went up those stairs. And I was like, oh, this is instant. But no, it wasn't because no, no, I was in 2013. This, this used to be this one. So it was here. Yeah, yeah the entrance was just over here. Um, you walked in and there was like a smoking area and a first bar. 
like with pinball machine. But was there a big stairs that you walk uh, up with? Like it was a it was a graffiti there on the w- walls. No, that wasn't big stairs. Like uh, like same as in the new one. Yeah. Uh, they were side um, stairs, and you can go downstairs. And there was a back bar. Was there a rooftop bar? On no, which yeah. one? On this one? Instant. On like this our, one. I have no idea, dude. No, I'm not, not here. No. Oh, maybe it was yeah. completely somewhere. The other instant has rooftop. Yeah. I oh, know that one. Oh, I know, but oh. man, this feels like there's places I've been to when I first oh, yeah. came here that just don't exist anymore. This this street used to be very busy, so now it's it's getting back getting up. Getting back, yeah. But I guess with um, you know, uh. uh Retox closed. That's all. So pretty 10, sad. Ten six six has become. Let's talk about depressing. something happy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were talking about movies before. Yeah. Depressing. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not talk about my life either. Yeah, we were talking about movies. <laughs> all right. Speaking of movies, I've seen a, a lot of. You know who my, one of my favorite actors is? Ricardo Darín. For real. Do you know him? Of course. From Argentina. And Argentinian movies actually are some of my favorites. Pretty dope. Have you seen? Um, have you seen? Do you watched a few Argentinian movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like. Have you seen? Uh, is it Nine Queens? Yes, Nueve Reinas. Yes. Have you seen that, Mom? No. Oh. Did they make a copy Why like in Spanish Europe? Now? I think they might have. Probably, yeah. It's like a film that goes over one day about two con artists <laughs> who were just like trying to like con people that they get through they, that they meet along the way. The other one is. Um, uh, it's a series of short stories. Wild short Tales. Wild Tales. Oh, man, that's oh, a great. You, you got to check these one? out, Bob. No, oh, I, Bob. Have to, I have to watch, like, Argentina one. Oh, you have to watch Doreen. I think he's the best one that we have. The only one. Which one? Doreen. Ricardo Darin. Ricardo Darin. Is, he's like the Al Pacino or Robert De Niro of, of, of... He was actually asked to play one of the main characters in... Um, uh, one of Quentin Tarantino's movies. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know And he that. told him to get fucked because he was like, nah, I'm not interested in playing this kind of like stereotypical drug. It was a drug dealer or something. And he, 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 was, he was approached. I and didn't he said, know nah, that. I'm not interested. I don't want to represent being a typical, stereotypical South American drug dealer. Have you seen the secrets in her, in her oh, eyes? Of course. They, oh, they make Secretos a, uh, in an uh, ojos. A secreto in sus ojos, yes. They made an American version. Yeah, sucks. but it's... <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ever, sucks. Every Julia Roberts. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's like, that's a great movie. That's a great movie. That's that was a nominated for Best I Picture. One, I think that one won. won the Did it win? It won Best uh, Foreign Picture. If it was 2021, it would have been nominated for Best Picture. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, a lot more foreign films have been winning yeah, the Best a- Picture. The ac- ac- Academy is changing, finally. Yep, 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 yep. It's not too white anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been yeah. a big push for that. Yeah, like, for example, South, South Korean movies are pretty dope. They're fantastic. Uh, yeah. Have you seen the one that won? Um, no, no. Um, it was uh, Minari, I think. Mm-hmm. Minari was nominated this year, but last year. Um, Parasite. Yeah, I s- great think film. I started it, <laughs> but I don't know why. I, I haven't seen Parasite either. It was it's so a, weird. It's creepy. A, it's there's a really good one called I Saw the Devil. And Is that the same guy who made um, yeah. Sympathy for Lady no, Vengeance no, and Parasite. Old Boy and Yeah, Old Boy. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, so Jesus. yeah, I saw the devil, and it's fucking amazing. I saw the devil. I saw the devil. I'm writing this yeah, right it's, now. It's, it's kind of like a thriller, horror, action. Cause it's about a Is dude. it supernatural? Uh, no, but it's about a guy whose family was killed and he's on a revenge drive to kill the guy who killed uh, Sounds like a guy who made old boy. Have you seen or heard of old boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, oh, man. No. It's just... It's, it's, <laughs> get this for a storyline, right? Asshole kind of alcoholic father gets kidnapped and put into a room for, I don't know, like six years where he can't leave. He goes a bit nuts, but then ends up like kind of like overcoming all of his frailties to become this quite like a strong, like, you know, like a strong, strong physically, strong mentally person who's then released for no reason. He then tracks down who the people who put him into this situation as in revenge but it's all a part of a bigger plan that you find out about at the end, which is this huge twist. And it's, it's like got Nova a fight scene. Like it, Nine Queens. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it's like that. But in a twisted kind of... 
It's sick way. Like, it's, it's hard to explain, but check out Old Boy, man. They oh. uh, they also did an American version of that with Samuel Jackson. How he, how is it called? Old Boy. Old Old Boy. What's this? Dude, is this your? Wa- is this a walkie-talkie? Yeah, it's my toy. Is this eat. for for work? Yeah, for me and Balu. Fuck! What a great idea. Just like straight up. Hang on. How do you talk to Balu? You just hold it here and talk. And this is just to get quick communication across. Yeah. So you're on the clock. Yeah, should we go downstairs soon though? If not, he's gonna get upset. Is there? Um, yeah. Oh, there he is. Blue, I can't believe you've got this uh, uh, walkie-talkie system. That is amazing. The walkie-talkie system that you and Martin have worked out. That is yeah, fucking awesome. Different. This distance. What is it for? in his ear. Talk with him. Ah. Is this the system you guys just worked out, or is this something you want everyone to have? See what? Is this a system just you guys worked out, or is this something you no, you want everyone uh, to have? It, it was just in the cupboard. Nobody was using it, so I put it to good use. That's fucking cool. Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> wait, wait. Can you put it to the mic? Isn't that right, honey? No, is it, did, did it work? I don't think so. Do it again. Isn't that right, honey? No, it worked before. But, ah, no, I heard the I heard the beep. There was yeah, a beep then. Don't press it, man. Oh, true. true. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> <laughs> it is handsome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, um, there's a few more people arriving now. Yeah. We've got Jeff man. and it's Kenny's here. here for Green Day. Is that what it is? Yes. Yes. The Green Day uh, co- uh, tribute band. Yeah. Who are playing downstairs in T minus. At eight minutes. Right? Ten minutes in or ten something, minutes. right? Yep. Yep. To head yep. downstairs then. So uh, we'll special. probably. Always. Keep this uh, keep this open, but uh, empty. Oh, it really? Yeah, it was his boyfriend. Who? Ooh. Who? Olivia. Olivia. Yeah, she's she's like in in Dublin also, or uh, she runs, I think, doing like a surfing camping. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I miss that girl. Well, Bob, if you if you want, we can continue, or you can um, give me later. a hint. You can come back, back later. Yeah, yeah maybe because we we just let it run and yeah. people come and go. For if there is gonna be ever a pop quiz, I'm gonna make the movie one. <gasps> Dude, let's do one together. Because sure. I, I ran a um, pop quiz here last week. There already was a movie one though recently, like two weeks ago. I can go into TV series as well. Yes, let's do TV series. Oh man, you're a movie lover like me. Yeah. We have lots we can talk about. Yeah. Alright, just quickly, before you go. Alright, favourite movie, favourite TV series, favourite actor, actress? Don't ever ask a film student what's. I don't what's believe in that. I believe people. Ones, no, I think I can, there is I can always name, like, an answer from, to that. Like genres. Like genres? Example, like one of my f- ever favourite one is Joe's. I haven't seen it. Go home and watch it. It's Everyone freaks out when they hear out that I haven't seen it. I even have a Jaws t-shirt as well. Jaws, all right. So Jaws. Yeah, that's, for example, an amazing, uh, amazing movie to analyze. Yeah. Like the color, uh, the color yellow, always pops up before the the shark attacks. So. Do you know about the oranges? Uh, myth? Uh, the yeah. All right. Have you seen uh, Children of Men? Uh, no, but but I kn- I know the orange one, uh, especially in in the Godfather. Godfather, yeah. But um, where else did it appear? Because it was in Children so of Men, which I did a many, thing on. So many, so many movies, but like color theory and movies are also amazing. So you like color? Is color yeah. your thing? Yeah. What do you think of uh, in the mood for love? I think I, I haven't seen that one. What about the Spanish but director, Mold, is it Mold, Moldova? I don't know, but I, I, know, I think I know the movie. But yeah, uh, back to favorite ones. Um, Toy Story. Toy Story? As in the first one or the third one? All of them. All of them? Like, especially the first and the third one, oh, and the fourth oh, one as well. I cried like a child um, when I've seen it. So um, when it comes down to movies, you sound like you're a bit like me. Like you, you, you go into, a, you, you can explore all the deep and artistic and, yeah. and all of those. But 
your favourites are still some of the mainstream ones? Uh, like Avatar love, and Toy Story. I love the, like, um, uh, what is it? What is it? Um, Singing in the Rain. That's one of my absolute favourite ones. I haven't ones. seen that either. That's so good. I've seen it like ten times. <laughs> did you have to analyse Citizen Kane at all? Uh, yes. Yeah, we did the same. Fuck, I loved analysing that movie. And Metropolis. Metropolis I haven't seen. Yeah, we had to that we had that one. Um, but yeah, I don't like horror movies. But I just seen The Quiet Place 2 this week. What was that like? It's I think it's amazing. Really? Like the first one and the second one as well. Like the last thirty minutes, also good oh, to analyze. analyze. Okay. Hello. Hey Becca, what's up baby? Are you here to here to chill? So yeah, there is an amazing contrast at the end between the two storylines. Oh, okay. So I didn't hear two good things about that movie. It's so good. Like, um, John Krasinski is going to be an amazing director. He's yeah. an amazing actor, but... He's done well. He's, he's a dope, well. Dope, dope director. So He's he's shooting uh, Jack Ryan Free here in yeah. Hungary. Yeah, here in Hungary? Mm -hmm. Ah, so they're doing the series here. Yeah, mm -hmm. here oh, as right, well. Now, okay, your favorite series? One of the most like crucial was Lost. Yes, it was the first official big time TV series, and it ushered in all the ones that came yeah. after. Lost. So you loved Lost? Did you like the ending? No, I hate it. I liked it. I, I actually it, liked it. It was awful. I love. I used to love. Who was your favorite character in Lost? Um, Jack. And what was the girl's name? Uh, the one who was uh, the, who had an on and off relationship with and Jack, um, Jack and uh, the Sawyer. Sawyer, I love Sawyer. Sawyer was my favorite. Sawyer was my favorite. And the big, uh, big bad the big Ben. I think it was that was his character's name. Ben. Ben. Yeah. Oh, he was the big bad. Fucking villainous. He was so good. He was so good. Yeah. So that one, I used to love, um, what's, what is it? Breaking um, Bad? No, I actually haven't seen Breaking <gasps> Bad. No, I used to love Dexter. Yeah, I, I like I liked that, the first two, one, three seasons. That one pissed me, pissed me off. They're remaking it. <laughs> I know. The ending pissed me off and uh, Game of Thrones. Of we course. don't talk about the last season. I still maintain that the last season was good. I think it was awful. Okay. Too, too, went too fast. Um, yeah, I, yeah, they should have. They should have took taken their time. Yeah. It's like they were rushed so. to just keep it going, and poor George got left behind. So yeah. All right, and uh, actor slash actress. Uh, Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been loving Brad Pitt recently. Like yeah. With the uh, Once Upon a time, time in Hollywood. I think that was. I need to see that again. His, one of his best. Uh, no, like I love Jim, James Cameron and uh, Chris Nolan. I love Chris Nolan. I love his Morgan movies. Freeman is amazing. Yeah, I love Morgan Freeman. Morgan so, Freeman's awesome. So yeah. All right, cool, dude. We got to do this again and talk yeah. more film because like we can talk. I can talk for days I know. about movies. I have to like actually like reread -read my my text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it another read and because yeah. yeah, I. I I, I had a, Especially I had a like working with movies and one of the cinematographer I worked with, his dad was one of the biggest director in Hungary. Yeah. And it was just. Did he uh, have you? Um, the only movie I've seen parts of. Actually, I saw one about. Um, uh, it was set during World War Two, and a, an older gentleman, a doctor, takes on uh, a young girl to be kind of like an almost like an adopted daughter. I can't remember what it was mm -hmm. called though. Mm -hmm. It was on Netflix. The other one I keep hearing about is a film called Control. Yeah, Control is, is amazing. If you were to recommend one Hungarian movie to watch, what would it be? Um, Valami America. Uh, it's uh, some, Something America. Something America. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the name of the movie. So Valami America, I think it's one of the most iconic one. And Uvek Tigris. What's that? It's it's about a small bar uh, right next to a lake, and it's about the the bartender and his group of friends. All right. Like seven dudes, or eight dudes, and 
they are just chilling, enjoying life, and it's like Uvek Tigris is. I still use some of the lines from the movie. <laughs> so. All right. So just just so I can remember, what was the name of that one? Uvek Tigris. Uvek. Uvek Tigris. Tigris. Glass Tiger. Glass Tiger. Uvek Tigris. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Check that out. I'll check I that out. I love that movie. All right. Thank you, Barbara, for you. jumping on and, and, and having Next a chat. Time. See, it wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah. There you Can, go. To be continued. To be continued. To be continued, my friend. Cheers. <laughs>